Today, I'm gonna talk about Unived Elite Drink Mix. Fifteen point five eight miles, nine minutes, twenty five seconds per mile, one hundred and forty one beats per minute on average. Taking the Univet Elite Drink Mix, well, at least two of these, out with me for my Saturday long run, having an absolutely fantastic time. The temperatures are starting to warm up in Chicago, at least getting somewhat closer to the norms for this time of year. Otherwise, it's been really cold so far this November. And with today's miles, I tested out two of the different flavors of Univet Elite Drink Mix. Now, before I get into my thoughts about this product, I do wanna go over some disclosures. This is a product that was sent to me by Univet for the purpose of review. However, they're not paying me to use the product or to make this video, and no one's gonna get a chance to see any of my footage or preview my thoughts before you guys get to see this video on YouTube. Now, with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about the Univet Elite Drink Mix. Now, this is a drink mix that has 45 grams of carbohydrates in a two to one in a two to one ratio of simple to complex carbohydrates. So that way you're accessing two different kind of metabolic pathways and you can get more sugar into your system faster. So that way when you're working hard, you have more energy to pull from. And it's very similar to the uh, gels in terms of makeup and what goes in these in terms of the electrolytes and other things that they have in here that I've reviewed before. And those gels, uh, as a reminder, are also a product that was sent to me by Univet for testing. Now, uh, in addition to the carbohydrates that are in here, there is a healthy dose of sodium, but they also have a lot of other things as well. Potassium, betaine, magnesium, beta alanine, and sodium bicarb. And then some of these flavors also have 35 milligrams of caffeine as well, which is nice. Uh, I'm low heart rate training right now. And so caffeine is something I'm trying to steer a little bit away from, but I do just love caffeine, especially in uh, the running nutrition that I take. 35 grams, it seems is a number that doesn't really affect my heart rate, but it's something that I'm not sure that I'm noticing, but I'm appreciative of the fact that it's in there. So maybe it's just a mental placebo effect, but I just like uh, when it's in there. So for today, for this run, what I did was I took one of these before the run because you have to put it with 600 to 800 milliliters of water. And that's just a lot of water for each of these packets that filled this uh, water bottle that I have all the way to the top, almost to the, the way tipping point of spilling. And that was 600 milliliters of water. So it's a lot of water. I didn't want to carry two of those around with me for my run today. So the first one, I took this uh, watermelon one, which has the 35 milligrams of caffeine in it. Uh, and this was delicious. Wild watermelon is the flavor and it tastes like wild watermelon. Not super sweet, not super tangy uh, and not watered down like watermelon-esque flavor either. So right in the middle, I felt like the name of the product is a good one. And then for my run, I carried that water bottle with me and I had this one, which is orange twist, uh, which didn't taste that orangey or citrusy, but it had kind of like that orange citrus ish flavor in there. Uh, not quite a tropical type of flavor. If you've had other kinds of drink mixes that have that uh, kind of label to it, but very pleasant. The flavors were nice. They were not too strong. They weren't medicine-y at all. Uh, it was a drink that I enjoyed drinking. Um, so that's how I planned for the run today. I knew it would be a little bit of a longer run, so I figured this would be a great day to test out these kinds of products. So uh, in terms of uh, being able to take it down, I chugged the first one right before, or a couple of minutes before I headed out for my morning run. And then a little bit after the halfway point, uh, I started drinking the, the other one during the run. Now it ended up being a lot of liquid and it's cold out, so I'm not sweating a ton. So I only made it through about half to maybe three quarters of this entire like water bottle full of this stuff. 
but I enjoyed having it. I felt very topped up the entire time. Uh, I had one of my best low heart rate training runs. It's a new kind of training style that I'm, I'm trying, but I had one of my best runs with this. I'm not sure I can completely attribute it to uh, having the Univet Elite drink mix with me, but it did happen to happen on the same day. And at the end of this run, I had my best miles at the end of the run, seven solid miles, uh, right around the nine minute per mile pace range, which was really great for me. It's faster than I've been doing most of my low heart rate training miles, even though I'm staying in the same level of effort. So felt like uh, that was taking care of me really well. I've been really hungry as I've been going on these uh, low heart rate training runs. And I didn't get that sense of hunger while I was on this run. So I think that my body was responding to it relatively well. I did go on another run the following day from the footage that you just saw uh, on Sunday. And there I had a 13 mile run. And what I did was I didn't wanna bring another water bottle with me. So I tried the very cranberry, did the same thing where I chugged uh, 600 milliliters of water with the very cranberry drink powder in it uh, and then went for the run and I had a really good run on Sunday as well uh, the last six miles of my 13 mile run were my best miles uh, they were all uh, below the nine minute per mile mark which again has been uh, at that same heart rate range of 135 to 145 beats per minute for me but uh, I ran them much faster than I've been running all my other low heart rate miles a lot of my other low heart rate miles are commuting miles though. So I do have a backpack on, it's before and after the workday. So it's a little bit of a different scenario, uh, but um, I am at least mentally being able to connect uh, this stuff with some good miles, uh, whether that's completely warranted or not, I'm still not quite sure. But in terms of feeling good during the run, I was out there for a little under two hours today. Uh, felt like I had plenty uh, of energy the entire time. I didn't feel like I was, that hungry until maybe like an hour and a half into my run. Uh, then I started feeling like guys, maybe I was getting a little bit hungry. Uh, but other than that, I felt really good, felt very hydrated and felt very just well taken care of the entire time. The very cranberry flavor though is not my favorite, I would say. It's kind of a confusing flavor. It starts out tasting a little bit cranberry-like and then it's uh, tasted kind of grape-y or uh, as I was like halfway through it, I was like, this is like when companies have this flavor, this is when they start calling him like ice blue or something weird like that. Cause the, then the flavor kind of became like indistinguishably fruit ish of some sort. Um, and it had a little bit of a med medicine -y taste, uh, towards the end. So not my favorite flavor. I definitely prefer the wild watermelon and the orange twist much more to the very cranberry. And the other thing that happened is during the run at some point I happened to burp and the burp tasted like sour apple. So lots of weird kind of fruit flavors. The thing is that it's a lot of liquid though, much more than I normally take before any run, whether it's water or a drink mix. But in the winter time when temperatures today were right around the freezing point, I think we were a little bit warmer than that because it wasn't too cold. Uh, it was definitely too much liquid and I definitely had to pee both on Saturday for my Saturday long run and my Sunday long run as well. Um, so that was uncomfortable. The thing that they recommend on the website is uh, for people who are using this for uh, very, very long races is to switch it up because their elite gels, which are twice the size of their regular. So here's like the regular gel. I really like this one, the salted caramel. Uh, and then they have this vanilla one, uh, which is uh, also one of my favorites of their gels. Very similar to what's inside here. There's a little bit more betaine for some reason. Yeah, there's 1000 milligrams versus 800. That's about the only difference that I can discern between these two products. And so they recommend when it's really hot out and you're sweating a lot, take in the 600 milliliters to 800 milliliters of liquid with the drink mix. If it's not hot or it's cooler or if it's night, go with the gel because you don't necessarily need that much liquid on board. So I think for the winter time, the Elite gel is probably more my speed, but for the summertime when I'm sweating more, 
than the drink mix. So those are my thoughts on the Elite drink mix and also uh, a little bit of comparison to the Elite gels and the regular gels from Unived. If you have any questions about those products, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you about it more down there. Before I go, I wanna remind you guys about the charity runner for this week. This week, it's Gavin May, who's participating in the Memphis Marathon weekend and raising money for St. Jude. I was happy to donate $70 to Gavin's fundraising efforts, and I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?